Hello everyone, welcome to day six of your 21 days of yoga. Thank you so much for being here. And today we will gonna flow exactly. This is our intention today and I hope you are ready because I'm inviting you on the mat. So hop on your mat, we start into child's pose. Let's flow. Bring your knees as wide as your mat. Big toes together. And then send the hips towards the heels. Extend the arms above your head and place the forehead on the ground. And let's stay here for a couple of breaths. And then exhale. And let's use this time as a way for us to settle in and to check in with ourselves. Three breaths in here. One more breath. Exhale. And from here, you're gonna press down and we meet into downward facing dog. Okay, send the hips up towards the ceiling and walk your dog a little bit in here, checking in with yourself. How are you feeling today? So what is new today? What's old? What exactly do you wanna change or maybe i think the big question here is how do you want to feel at the end of this practice hmm. okay settle into your downward facing dog and let's start with the physical foundation by pressing the palms into the ground pressing your heels towards the ground and then sending your hips up towards the ceiling and the chest is pressing towards the legs okay Breathe in right here and breathe out right here. One more breath together, breathe in and breathe out. Okay, walk your feet towards the front of your mat and let's take a rag doll here at the top of the mat. So bring the feet hip distance apart. Start pressing the four corners of the feet into the ground, put a little bend through the knees and then send the crown of your head down and grab the opposite elbow. Good, and then let the gravity do the work for you, letting the crown of the head fall towards the ground, relaxing the neck. And maybe you want to swing side to side a little bit. And feeling how the hamstrings are getting stretched right now. Hmm. Good. One more breath. Exhale. Release your palms down. Bring your big toes together and the heels are slightly apart. And let's flow with a couple of sun salutations. Okay. Take a halfway lift and breathe in. And then exhale and fold. And let's go all the way up, extended mountain pose, press down, reach up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, dive forward. Take a halfway lift, breathe in. And now bring the shoulder blades towards the spine. Okay, flat back. And then bring the palms down, step back for high plank. Engage your legs and your abdominals. And then bring your knees down. Go all the way down on your mat, hug the elbows in, and then press the tops of your feet. And now lift your chest up into a cobra. Exhale, lower down, and we meet into downward facing dog. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Good, and now bring your shoulder blades towards the spine, creating some space in between the ears and the shoulders. Good. Let's stay for one more breath. In through the nose. Out through the nose. And now you're going to bend your knees. You're going to look in between your palms. You either step or you walk at the top of your mat. Big toes together. Take a halfway lift and breathe in. And then exhale and fold. Let's go all the way up. Extended mountain pose. Breathe in. Exhale, four fold. Halfway left, breathe in. 
exhale high to low plank so you go first to high plank and then you bring your knees down and you go all the way down take a cobra exhale down to facing dog breathe out and we stay for three breaths in here okay let's start building everything starts with the physical foundation so press the fingertips the knuckles the heels into the ground lift through the sitting bones okay and we have one more breath so breathe in through the nose breathe out through the nose let's go for one more sun a so bend your knees look in between your palms and now step or walk at the top of your mat here we go halfway lift make sure the your back is flat and then exhale and fold and all the way up root down rise up exhale and dive forward halfway lift breathe in good job high plank and then exhale low plank good cobra breathe in exhale down or facing dog and breathe out now set your eyes on a fixed point in between the heels. This is Drishti. Focus, let's say. And take a deep breath in. And breathe breath out. Good. One more breath. Exhale. Bend the knees. Look in between the palms. And now step at the top of your mat. Take a halfway lift, breathe in. Good job, exhale, fold. Bend your knees, come into a chair pose. Okay, chair pose, you may not like it. Oh, I know, but anyway, it's just one pose like any other. And if you don't like it, means there is, maybe there's a lesson there. So let's, so let's take it with some ease, okay? So bring breath into this pose. So you can relax. Let the tailbone descend. Press your feet into the ground. Good. We stay for one more breath. And then exhale and fold. Halfway lift. Good job. Exhale, high plank. Knees down. All the way down. Let's flow. Cobra, breathe in. Exhale, down or facing dog, breathe out. And again, press into the ground, lift the sitting bones up. And at the same time, feel the texture of your mat beneath the palms and the feet. Send the right leg in between your palms. We go for warrior one on the right side. Left heel goes on the ground, okay? And now press your feet down, engage the legs. Sit lower. Good. Arms are going up. And breathe. Good. Okay. Make sure to press the outer edge of your back foot and the center of the front heel. Breathe in, lengthen. And now you're going to open up to warrior two. So arms are going in opposite directions and the hips are parallel with the long side of your mat. Relax the shoulders down. Good. Now reverse your warrior. Keep the legs in the same position. Move your upper body backwards. Good. One more breath. Come back, warrior two. And now straighten your front leg. You go forward, like you want to grab something here at the top of your mat, and then you go down, grabbing your ankle. Okay, and now left arm goes up. And now, very important in here, I want you to press your feet into the ground, engage the legs, and then you let the tailbone descend and you start rotating the rib cage up towards the ceiling, bringing your shoulders one on top of the other. 
and breathe. This is final pose. Good. One more breath. Exhale. Now pull abdominals in, send your arms up and parallel your feet to the left. And from here you're going to exhale and fold. Maybe grab your ankles or bring your palms on the mat. We stay for three breaths. Good. One more breath. Exhale. Bring your palms on your hips, pull abdominals in, and come all the way up. And now you're going to turn the right toes at 12 o'clock, and then you're going to step with your left leg a little bit forward, bringing your left toes pointing more towards the front of your mat. Okay, have some mic problems in here. We go for pyramid pose. So in here, send your arms up and then exhale and you fold. Okay, both feet are staying on the ground. And in case your left heel stays up, I want you to step a little bit forward. Good. Now send the right hip back, left hip forward. Breathe in. Exhale and the chest is going towards the leg. Okay, we stay for three breaths. One more breath. Exhale. Take a halfway lift. Palms at the top of your mat. You step back for high plank with both of your legs. And then we go to a low plank. Knees on the ground and you go all the way down. Take a cobra, hug your elbows in and lift your chest up, keeping a long neck. Exhale, lower down. And we meet back into downward facing dog. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Good. Let's go on the left side. Send your left leg in between the palms. Bring the right heel down. And here we go, warrior one, left side. Sit a little bit lower. Press your feet down. Foundation first. And yes, foundation first because I want you to think about how these poses that we are building them and we start from the ground. Okay. We start with the foundation and then we build it up. Okay. Up to the fingers. Hmm. Okay. Breathe in and then exhale. Open up where your two left side hips parallel with the long side of your mat. Relax your shoulders down. Good job. Reverse your warrior. Pull abdominals in, relax the shoulders. Good. Come back, warrior two. Straighten the front leg. You go down, you go forward and then down. Triangle pose, left side. Press your feet down, keep the legs engaged and then focus on lengthening through the crown of your head while you Inhale, and then exhale, right shoulder gently goes back. Fingers are still pointing up towards the ceiling, so you don't go here. You stay here with the palms. And only the right shoulder goes back, so you can be able to rotate the rib cage towards the ceiling. Good job. Feel the ground beneath the feet. That's it. Okay. Now come up, parallel your feet to the right and make sure your big toes are pointing a little bit towards the inside. And this time, if possible, you can interlace the fingers behind your back. Okay. Open up your chest by pressing your fist down. Exhale, fold. Otherwise you just take the, the first option, palms on the ground, three breaths.
Good. That's it. One more breath. And now gently pull abdominals in. Come all the way up. Send your left toes at 12 o'clock. Step with the right leg forward. Make sure both feet are on the ground and they are in the, at the same line um, with your hips, okay? In the same line with your hips. Now, press your feet down, open up your chest, and here we go. Pyramid pose, left side. And by, in case this is way too much for you by keeping your fingers interlaced, you just go for the first option. You send your arms up, okay? And then you fold. It's your choice. I'm gonna give you a lot of directions in here, but you hold the decision, okay? Listen to your body and just go for it. Good. You can put a little bend through the left knee. Last breath in here. Exhale. Good. Take a halfway lift. Now bring the palms on the mat. Let's flow. High plank. Low plank, knees on the ground. Take a cobra, breathe in, press the tops of your feet. Exhale, downer facing dog. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And here we go, high plank. And from here, you go all the way down on your mat. Bring the palms near the body. We go for locust pose. So from here, you're gonna press down and you're gonna lift your palms, the shoulders and the legs up. And then turn the toes down. Like you wanna press the heels, not it's like you want. So you're gonna press the heels towards the back of your mat and hold it, the pose, not the breath. Five, four, squeeze the legs, three, two, and one, good job. Okay, palms one on top of the other, swing the legs side to side. And now you're gonna flip on your back. We go for a bridge pose. Bring the feet on the ground, knees are pointing up towards the ceiling. And let's go for one bridge. So press down the feet. Send the hips up and now engage the glutes, the abdominals. And if you want, you can interlace the fingers behind your back. And we stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Now gently release and swing your legs side to side. And from here, bring the knees up towards the ceiling. Right leg comes on top of your left leg. Right arm comes through the inside of your legs. And then interlace the fingers behind your left leg. Now gently press towards the chest and release. And again, press towards the chest and release. And last time, and this time, hold it towards the chest for five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Gently release. And we were going to switch. Bring the left leg on top of your right leg, left arm in between your legs. Okay. And now press towards the chest. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, release and swing your legs side to side a couple of times. Okay. From here, I want you to bring the right leg over the left leg. 
and if possible you can wrap the foot around the ankle and then extend your arms into a T. Take a deep breath in at the center and then exhale, knees are going towards the left, eyes over to your right. Three breaths. Come back towards the center, let's switch sides. So you, you can wrap the foot around the ankle only if that's possible. Otherwise, don't beat yourself up. It's not such a big thing. Take a deep breath in at the center and then exhale, knees towards the right, eyes towards the left. Two more breaths in here. Come back towards the center and let's take a Supta Baddha Konasana. So bring the soles of your feet together, rest the palms one on top of your chest, the other on top of your abdomen and very gently relax your knees towards the ground. Oh, relax the legs, the lower back and the shoulders and just take a moment in here to take all in, noticing again how are you feeling and what exactly has changed since you started this practice and from here extend the legs as wide as your mat turn the palms facing the ceiling make yourself really comfortable it's time for Shavasana and take a deep breath in through the nose, let it go through the mouth, good, now it's time for you to just be, let your body relax towards the ground and allow yourself to just be. And as always, I'm encouraging you to stay here for at least five more minutes. And I'm going to leave you here and see you tomorrow. Namaste.